Good day, everybody. You're not going to believe this. Actually, um, if you've been following me, you are going to believe this because I did the whole narration and then I lost it when I tried to edit something. So here it goes again. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this narration is because it's Saturday afternoon. Well, it's Saturday evening now. But when I did this video, it was Saturday morning and there was too much going on around the place. And, you know, the noisy neighbours with the lawn mowers and the kids playing and the dogs barking and everything was happening. So um, I decided to do a narration afterwards. And some people don't like these narrations, but it's just what it is and I just have to go with the flow here, guys. So what I'm doing here is I've just got some PVA glue and some glitter mixed together and I am applying this with uh, like a shish kebab stick um, because the little bottle, the squeezy bottle that I have um, is not really um, helping me here because the the glitter is not the ultra fine get glitter it's more of a chunky glitter so it's not coming out the opening at the at the you know end of the bottle so i'm using this stick to just arrange things where i want them to go okay so that's just what i'm doing here and because uh, pva glue dries clear this um, I will also dry clear and it'll just show the glitter which is just amazing so while I'm doing this um, I'm just applying some rose gold glitter same same deal with the PVA glue and using the paintbrush uh, which is a bit of a fresh air for me because as most of you know I am I did traditional art for years and then I got into acrylic pouring and then I got on to resin pouring and uh, in pouring art you don't really use a paintbrush art, uh, well you can but we don't we don't really use it so this is just so much fun for me just applying this with a paintbrush um, and I'm enjoying it immensely. So while I'm doing this I thought I might um, share something with you guys. Um, a while ago um, in my pay, uh, Facebook group I've uh, posted uh, a post where I'm asking the struggling artists to come forward and share with us all why they're struggling and what I can do as an, another artist to help them out. And I promised that I would do a shout out video and this will be probably continue um, into another video because there's so many people that came forward. So I will start with... Um, um, and I will start with the person called Janet Bottomley. She's got an Instagram Instagram channel, an uh, Instagram, sorry, um, page, and um, she's uh, she's come forward. So she's got really really nice artwork. Look at her her Instagram and say good day. I've also got Linda Brent here. She's saying you're very kind. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments you know, just to help me, you know, remind me of who these who they are. She's saying you're very kind. Thank you. My website and social media is still in the setup stage, but I'm lucky to still have a full-time day job. And this is another thing that um, we struggle with as artists. You know, we have to kind of balance the day job and the artwork so have a look at Linda's um, well she hasn't supplied me any any information but Linda Brent is her name okay so then we go to Courtney Silva she's saying thank you so very much for this I've put off art 
so long because I believed it, I wasn't good enough to show it to others. And this is just so sad. It's just really depressing. And I totally understand that. Because I don't really sell a lot of art either. I can't remember the last time I sold any art. I got into this um, pigment business to get some really awesome pigments so that I can create awesome artwork. But it just um, it grew like crazy. And I'm still not selling any artwork. <laughs> so... <laughs> So my pigment business is my day job now and uh, hopefully I'll be able to sell some art. But anyway, I've got Tracy Henry here and I know this lady, she's got a YouTube channel. She's absolutely amazing. She's such a lovely, lovely person, very humble and she's um, she's only had the YouTube channel for a year and uh, doing really, really well with that. But you can um, help her by popping into her YouTube channel. It's called uh, Tracy Henry Creative. And just uh, say good day. And then we go to Gail Morris uh, Rachet. Um, she says, I sometimes wonder why I keep on painting. It's just... It's just too hard to sell my work. Um, that's why I teach. Okay, so a lot of people uh, they have to balance the, the artwork with other things, which is teaching, and you don't really get a lot of money for teaching. Um, and it just amazes me how some people can sell their artwork and get so much money, and some people who are just amazing can't sell it. So there you go that's just um how it is in life so give her a shout out and give her um you know good day and uh support her in some way even by liking her her artwork you know then we go to tamara through wilson and uh, she is creating really beautiful artwork using la res pigments I can't see any website here, but I think she's working on a website. So um, keep an eye open for Tamara. And then we got Terry Rustend. Terry Rustend. Um, she is saying, Susanna, you helped me and inspired me to start using resin, which I only discovered a few months ago, and I'm still learning. I started painting for the first time two and a half years ago to keep, keep to help me deal with the grief of my daughter's death she was oh my goodness she was 24 and was killed by a drunk driver uh, I was a nurse for 40 years but I had to resign, uh, resign um, due to stress oh my goodness this is just heartbreaking this is absolutely heartbreaking and I can't even imagine that would have to be the worst thing in the world seriously but Terry has some really beautiful artwork she does resin art and she paints things like sharks and things like that in the ocean and then she she does this resin thing around it and it just looks amazing so um, I can't see any Instagram or anything like that, no website. But if you come across Terry Russent, please uh, say good day. It's just a, a nice thing to do. Oh my goodness. Um, so we, we keep going. There's, um, let me just stop myself right here and just explain what I'm doing. I'm just adding some a red jasper to the wings, and I believe I have already done the bloodstone on the tail which is a greeny kind of color with a little tin tint of red and now I'm just adding some mixed gems uh, I have all of these in this in my online store so you can get them but you will see how amazing it looks um, after it's all done so I continue to my shot shout outs so I've got Karma McGregor here, and she's saying, wow, that is so sweet of you to offer. I'm just dipping my fingers into resin, and any help would be great. 
greatly appreciate it she has got a youtube channel um so i will post i will you know put all the information in the description so you can see um so now i have tanya green here she's saying what an opportunity thank you for the chance i'm an emergent artist oh thank you millie sorry that was just my my dog millie she just um shaking <laughs> shaking off um she says she's got a busy family life uh work part-time and make art every chance i get i'm working very hard so she has got a facebook um called green green hall studio art so her name is tanya green and um, pop into her facebook uh, green hall studio art and say good day so that's all the shout outs for today i will continue um, in my next video but i'm just showing you some close-ups so that you can see the uh